Alrighty, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's see what's going on today. Oh, yep. The Encyclopedia Galactica on its book, on its chapter on love, states that it is far too complicated to define. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy has this to say on the subject. Avoid, if at all possible. I've been picking up that today, too. It's a conversation that I've been having with some people, and it's this whole thing, and it's just it's the Northern Hemisphere thing, I'm guessing. Anyway, it's, um, winter's, winter's coming to an end. And it's bringing about this energy of change you can't help it it's airy season coming right the earth is getting ready to spring forth all this energy that's been built up and buried under the ground is there and we were talking about how like what's better on how to deal with certain people like it's like i mean what's better do you ghost somebody or do you genuinely give them the information that they need right it's it's hard because when you tell somebody that what that they make you uncomfortable or whatever the reason or they pet peeve you or whatever your reasoning is for deciding to not talk to them anymore they're gonna take offense to so it's like it's you can kind of get ghosting culture because it's like why why am i gonna have this terrible conversation i guarantee this bitch has had this conversation with other freaking people at this point right and if not you know I don't know. I'm, I'm always labeled this horrible, heinous bitch because I am an Aries, 110%. So, um, bottling things up really isn't what I do. I genuinely um, tend to <laughs> speak my mind. I didn't mean it at first. <laughs> Aries, baby. Aries, baby. There's definitely somebody who has a cocky energy here, though, too. Somebody, I, I don't, I'm not getting an overinflated sense of ego, but there is somebody who definitely has this healthy ego here um, that I'm picking up on. It's like I'm not perfect, but holy cow, man. <laughs> we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. a meme I shared the other day that was like I had to let my exes go um because it was unfair to them to have them keep trying to achieve something that they were never going to achieve and that's the kind of energy when you recognize and, and I've gotten in trouble for this too like people wonder what happened to my last ex well that's it that was it right oh it's a honey you just and I told him that the very very beginning what the issue was going to be at the end and nobody ever wants to listen to me when I tell them these things. I'll be like, look, this is a big problem and I see that it's going to be a big problem down the road and then down the road it becomes a big problem. And the people are shocked. Oh, I can't believe it. What? You told me this was a problem at the very beginning and then, and then now here at the end you're like, this is the reason why but you've been letting me do it for all this time. Yeah. But because you, you said you wanted me and I told you this was a problem so I figured at some point you might make an effort to change it if you weren't so in the bucket you wouldn't have gotten shit on your shoes shit on your shoes and the good lord said he can get me out of this but he's pretty sure you're fucked yeah there's definitely an energy of somebody who's just had to move on separate themselves from an old energy here what's going on with that cord cutting that we had done it on the full moon I need to do the astrology for this next moon and see what we're going to do for that I did my luck of the Irish for St. Patty's Day the child I was meant to be alright oh. crybaby just came on Janice Joplin I love her, I think my hair she's got great hair <laughs> I need to take care better of care of mine. You guys got any tips you can give me some? What do you put on your hair? I'm not trying to cut it all off. There's definitely something about distance and transportation here. 
I'm picking up two energies for her, for sure, right? So we got the numbing energy, and I definitely pick up this is the masculine, is numbing themselves, blinding themselves, right? Stuck in the lotus den energy here. And then we've got the child I was meant to be, which I'm picking up as more as the feminine energy there. Because see why. And um, it's just kind of rooting themselves into their old energies, right? I get a lot of shadow work that's been done. It's kind of like the seeds blooming energy here. You got transportation. Now, this is a past life. I didn't even mean to pick up this deck. I was going for the shadows. But, not shadows, the earth magic. There's something about transportation is an issue in between these people. That could have been the realistic... Um, energy that somebody's come up with too. Ships, food and hunger. Health. Mm. Definitely be somebody in the Americas here. They could have some native ancestry. Somebody has some native ancestry. I mean, native to the Americans. Leaving and travel, there is just a lot, right? There's something about trains. There's something about ships. There's something about a repeating timeline here. Definitely food and hunger. I'm picking up the energy... Um, yeah, coming over by boat. Somebody who came over by boat, or people who came over by boat um, during the industrial era where they were building the railroads. Definitely got the wars and battles here. I got the railroad battles. I just, because you got leaving and travel too. I got railroad battles, wars and battles, this native energy. There's something about the railroads here. Hmm. weird because oh an orphan I was about to say this book that came to mind to me um, I read it I read it in school I forget what school I was going to when I read it but it was a story of a, a Indian boy and he had grown up till he was like 12 in his tribe he had even gone through like the little manhood rituals and all that other stuff where they take him up in the woods and, and leave them and they have two weeks to make it back um but there's a scene where someone is, where there's, he has this bear, right? And this bear is really attached to him, and it follows him. Like, the kid is taken from, the, the tribe's taken over, they're relocated. I passed the thing called the Trail of Tears to up here earlier, and I was wondering if that's the beginning, because they don't even teach that shit in school right now. So... This is so specific. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm deep into somebody's past life energies right now. They're taken from um, their tribal area, and they're, they're relocated. The kids are taken, and they're put into boarding schools, and their hair is cut. And the bear followed him. And he, one night, or one day when he sees the bear, he goes running out there, and the bear's, like, happy to see him, and he's trying to get the bear to leave. leads it off into the woods and tells it to go. And he tries to be nice at first, and it won't be, it won't listen, it won't listen. And then eventually he's end up having to, like, scream and yell at it. I think, the, what are one of the movies is that in? Like, White Fang is in there, too. It's just the energy of, like, for its own good, screaming and yelling at something to make it go. I got definitely orphan, yeah, I picked up that orphan energy and I picked up the phobia energy and my chest even got a little tight, right? Shape shifting. Somebody's morphing right now. Somebody's in a, in a stage of energy of where they're morphing. Yeah. Unfold, but somebody, and I definitely, like, and I can lean a little bit cause towards the feminine energy here. Something's going on with her, but she is definitely shape-shifting and unfolding. 
It's an energy of unfurling here. Activation, winds of activation. Been very windy around here lately. It's definitely a windy season, whenever the seasons start to change. There's definitely winds of activation. Unfoldment. River and movement. All right, let's see what this has got to do with this timeline. Mind down biscuits playing by Katie Musgraves on there. My phone right now. I love this song. Mind your own biscuits and life will be gravy. I like the one line pissing in my yard ain't gonna make yours any greener. Definitely picking up on a masculine here. Someone who is trying to build a ten of pentacles for themselves for sure. Definitely got the energy of numbing themselves though. Somebody's got a dirty bind. <laughs> Someone's got a dirty mind. Someone likes to keep themselves in third party situations. I got someone, I got the type of energy that likes to keep. Um, now, I, like, I never saw this as being an issue. Like, and it could just be my own naivety, you know what I'm saying? Did I say that right now? Probably not. Naivety? Naive, naiveness? I'm not sure which, how, which way is that was pronounced correctly. But I always thought, like, it was, like, I thought it showed that I had good character, that I was still on good terms with a lot of my exes, right? But I'm still friends with a lot of my exes, da, 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 and people would, like, I never saw that as being weird until I lived in, like, small town life, and it's like, what, everybody's still friends with their exes or sleeping with their exes. Like, every time they break up with somebody, the first person they run to to go sleep with is their ex. It's like, it's like just go be with your ex. <laughs> I don't know, that's my brain. It would be friends with benefits. Why don't you just try dating? That That's what dating should be. Friends with benefits. Like, that's what a relationship is. But you're my friend. Oh, my God. I don't know. People are weird. I think that they've... I, I think it's all ruined right now. I'm totally against it all. So, like, I, well, I'm never going to be popular right now. This is not going to be my life, right? Because I'm just... I'm never going to be for... Um, and it's, you know what, it's funny, because I'm picking this energy up too, it's how they fucked it up in the 70s too, it's what ruined the movement then too, what, free love, and then it got twisted and manipulated, and then it was, you had to sleep with everybody in the community, and it's like, they're trying to lure all these young hot women in, and they use these hot women to lure in other men to their society, but it was just exploitation. It wasn't free love. It was exploitation. And it led to like horrible fucking diseases and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's where AIDS came from. Not the damn fucking K community. They like to blame it on that. But no. I'm just saying. This definitely the energy of somebody who put their foot down with that type of shit. Someone's battling with letting go. 
Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is still really focused and really passionate about this past energy, right? They really, really... I get the energy that they can't look away even though it like stabs them in the eye to look, right? Like it hurts to look, but they can't stop looking at whatever this is. I get that they might even be like hyper focusing on some sort of foundational issue, something that happened in the foundations or how to get back to the foundations of it, right? I get the six of pentacles, or the six of pentacles, the six of cups here. So it's like they look, the one that got away energy is what I'm getting. Just got the energy of the one that got away. It's like, what? I don't know. It's like, it's like I, they don't, I get the energy. They're like, I can't, you can't be in the past. How do we get back to the good parts of the past? How, how, do, how do we get past whatever the conflict was, right? Got every rose has its thorns. Every rose has its thorns. Yeah, it's such a love-hate relationship with that damn song. Right? This is what I mean. Defeat at all costs. Defeat at all costs. Causing shit ton of conflicts. Defeat at all costs. What? This person, like the feminine, I get the feminine energy here is like, what? They weren't stupid. They weren't stupid. You're like, what? No, no. I can see what you're doing, and I'm just going to cut the strings on this already, right? And that's how you ended up in disappointment. So, like, yeah, oh, well, no, it was sad. I wish it could have been different, too, right? They're looking at those cups floating away, right? You know, it's like, it's disappointing, but it is what it is. What? And it's like, what? Dude. Dude. She made a decision because you wanted to lay there and be like, what is me, third party situations? I'm so loyal. That's why I still talk with my exes. That's why I still hang out. We're just friends. We were just friends with benefits, but now I'm totally loyal to you, but I still got this person in my DMs. And da 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 and this person was like, fuck that shit. No. No. Nope. I don't feel like you got healthy boundaries. I think that you're a pervert. I don't want to be connected to that energy. I'm damn sure not going to be put into fucking, um, what is it called? Uh, third party situations are triangulations for narcissists. That's all they are. But it was really disappointing to see that side of you. It's always heartbreaking, right? Because you, you want them to be that ideal version of themselves too, but it's like, you know, they're never going to be that. very strong soul connection here right very strong soul connection here we definitely got a magician on the 5d someone is having to learn to get some control over themselves right if they really want this ten of pentacles they really need to start wising up right and stop lying and telling me that you're not numbing yourself in some way shape or form just because you may not be an alcoholic or you may not be a drug addict or you may not be you could be numbing yourself by playing video games too much there's lots of ways to numb yourself. Lots of ways to numb yourself. I love, what is it, Russell Brand. And I forget what movie he was in. But he plays like the same character across all these movies. And then at the end, he's talking to one of his exes. And he's like, why didn't it work out with us? And she goes, because you were addicted to everything. First it was you know, drugs, then it was alcohol, then it was this, then it was yoga, then it was meditation, then it was, she's like, you don't know how to do anything in moderation. It's the energy that I'm picking up here, right? Someone has been definitely feeling the pressure of the universe here, right? They've been acting childish. There's an end to these situations getting ready to come, right? Five of swords again. trying to sneak out of these third party situations, right? They're definitely trying to make some sort of romantic gesture here, right? Something about a union, but they're stuck. They're stuck. 
they're focused on this high priestess. Twenty minutes of the room are line. The world is opening up. What do we got? We got the Ten of Swords. What? Victim mentality. There's a victim mentality. This person, you're your own prisoner. They're like, they're, they're, they're still sinking. They're still watching. They're still maintaining the connection probably more than most people realize, right? This person definitely suffers from massive amounts of anxiety over whatever the hell this is, right? Whatever the hell happened. That's their Ten of Swords, right? They like, they can't, ah, I get, I don't know, just some sort of a shamed energy. And 99 could be a big number today, right? This person has realized, right? They see it in the distance. They see it. What do they see? They're Nine of Cups. I get this could be like I get this could be an internet addiction. I get this could be social media. This could be addicted to dating apps. Um, just flirting with people online is the energy that I'm getting from this person. I get that they do this, right? Have they've done this? Um, that's it. That's that's their whole thing. What there's like there's like they gotten used to this. Yeah, I'm getting the flash of like, like bunches of dating apps, bunches of dating apps. And it's just like, what? There's always like, it doesn't matter who you piss off or who stops talking to you, right? I get, what is this? The energy is, they'll talk to anybody who'll talk to them. And there's always someone to talk to them because they've got a million apps like that are set up at any moment. And whenever they're bored, they just click through it like it's a refrigerator. Just open the refrigerator and just click through the apps and see if there's a message from anybody anywhere, right? But meanwhile, this person is a hermit. Queen of Swords, she's watching this energy. I like the way that they're kind of facing each other. Because I get the energy of the Divine Feminines looking at this person like, you're lonely, dude. Like, your life is fucking lonely. Like, I don't know what you're doing over there on your phone, but your life is fucking lonely. I mean, you might feel big and bad on your phone, and that's your escapism that you're addicted to, right? This energy of, like, that's how they maintain, they stroke their ego. But meanwhile, she's like, you're just, you're just fucking lonely, dude. Be like, what? That's what you look like. That's why she left. This person remained there. They remained stuck in some sort of energy here with this Eight of Swords, right? King of Stabs. They're trying to get control over their energies now. It's this energy of passion and they're trying to, you know, I get, get gain control over that, right? To sit still, right? They're trying to be a better version of themselves. I get trying to take a moral high ground. It doesn't matter how far you sunk. You can always turn your shit around. If this person wants to be on the moral high ground. I get they see this energy as their queen of pentacles, right? The one that can manifest the most on the 3D with them. Six of swords, this is a rite of passage. I get the energy of maybe having to wave the white flag. Ooh. How do you get back in control? Let's get the energy of waving the white flag. You're like what? You <coughs> don't want me to say it. What? What am I picking up? Okay. Got the energy of if you want her to be, if you want to be a king, you're gonna need her to be your queen. And if you want her to be your queen, you're gonna have to say that right 
and get the energy of um I don't know why I got the flash of never ending story at the end where she's like Bastion say my name alright y'all that was weird that was weird you know what let's hit just dice some heavy energy here Seven, definitely overcoming some lies and conflicts here, reaping what one sows. South node, there's definitely a lot of past life energy that is coming into play here. And we got Virgo. Virgo is all about planning ahead, being prepared, right? Being organized, being ready. Right? Virgo is one of those that, oh, that was very specific, that vacuum the door on their way out to vacations, right? energy of cleaning up after oneself. Ooh. Cleaning up. Someone's definitely having to clean up after themselves. Give me one second. I dropped one. Oh. There we go. Dropped it. Crossroads. Intuition. Something is coming out into the light. There's a lot of rings of communication about a flight that's getting ready to take happen. All right, blessed be all those who walk these weird and winding paths with me. And I was just thinking, boats, trains, and aeroplanes, right? Boats, trains, and aeroplanes. It's the only two. The only thing that's not in the past life deck is planes aren't there because they didn't exist. All right, I love y'all. I hope that helps you out with your day. And um, yeah, back as soon as I can, I promise.